Hello future architects and welcome back to this channel. So I know it's been a while since I last uploaded a vlog but I'm still here. I'm still studying. I still exist. And this vlog is actually me showing you a day in my life studying for the board exam. So I started this vlog late in the night because we gotta start it past midnight. And currently, I'm still reading. This is Project Construction Management by Max Fajardo. I'm already in chapter 9. So I'm still gonna finish a few pages for today. And this is my timer. I've already clocked in four and a half hours of effective study. So my bed is already calling me. I know, yes, I already need to sleep, but I still want to finish a few more pages. And I'm actually doing this vlog because, again, I'm two months away from the scheduled architecture licensure exam. And I still have a lot to cover. So I'll see you tomorrow for a full day of study. <music> done for the evening so I'm going to clock out with 4 hours and 52 minutes. I'll be showing you where I write this down on my board. This is the board where I write down my effective study hours. So these are actually just hours where I'm actually really studying or in focus with my study. I don't really count eating time, sleeping time, bath time. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down over here. Four hours, 52 minutes, and 21 seconds. Before I sleep, I'm just gonna quickly show you or share to you how my study space had recently evolved. So this is my little study area. I used to have my study table on the other side of my room. But since I've had this wall node over here because these are the only available blank wall space area, I had to rearrange some of my furniture. So originally, I had my bed over here. But I needed to move it on the other side of my room. So that's already by the window. I was also able to divide the space into two halves. So this is my study area on the right side. And then on the left side is the sleeping area. And my study area is also divided by my vanity table. And this basically shows my study schedule for the rest of the months remaining. I'm not really gonna do a tour of the room or rather the wall because first off, we have to pass the test before we can actually do a video of that. But this is how I like my space right now. But it works for me. So just a time check. It's almost 2 a.m. This is actually pretty regular for me. I sleep at 2 a.m. and I still sleep 8 hours a day. So I would wake up around 10 or 11 a.m. And then I'll have my breakfast and prepare myself for another study day which starts at 2 p.m. Good morning, it's 11.30 a.m. So I'll have my breakfast and then I'll start to prepare for the day. I'll start at 2 p.m. hopefully. It's 2 p.m. start studying. For my first agenda, I am going to rewrite my notes about construction management and I'll do that by typing it on Microsoft Word. So currently, these are some of my friends who are also studying on Discord. Then later on, we'll have 
our daily quizzes game at exactly 2.30 p.m. So we usually do one round of quizzes game. For today, we'll be tackling building technology. So I'm already gonna start my timer. This is the result of the game. So we had 8 players that joined today and we actually used Pritzker Laureates as our code names. So we do this daily and it's more fun to play it this way. Today we played construction equipment which was a topic chosen by one of our players also. So it's really random. It is currently 4.44 and I'm going to take a study break. check it's slightly past 8 p.m and we actually have a scheduled group night discussion for tonight here i have my flashcards prepared and we're gonna do this via discord right now we're just waiting for more participants to join us so we're gonna tackle philippine architecture tonight <music> I guess we'll move on. Number 17. He was the first licensed Filipino architect. Is it Francisco Maniosa, uh, Felix E. Rojas, uh, Thomas Mokua, or Guillermo Tolentino? Timer starts now. Okay, answers up. Parang unanimous yung C. Okay, good job. Thomas Mokua yung sagot. Who is uh, the architect of the QMC Shrine or the Quezon Memorial Shrine? Is it George Ramos? Is it Juan Napil? Uh, Federico Ilustre? Or Thomas Mokua? Okay, answers up. C, everyone answered C, I think. Tama. Federico Ilustre yung architect ng Quezon Memorial Shrine. Uh, this is designed by KPF. What is this building? Is this PBCOM, uh, Petron Mega Plaza, uh, GT International, or LKG Tower? Timer starts now. Okay, answers? Everyone answered C. 
Tama. This is the JT International Tower. Last question. What is this building designed by KPF? Is it PBCOM, Petron Mega Plaza, uh, JT International Tower, or LKG Tower? Timer starts now. Okay, answers. D, D, D. Tama. LKG Tower. Uh, picture ba tayo? Or ano ba, Jamie? Picture. Can I add something random? Random? Okay, A sige. random object? O oh, sige, maganap daw kayo ng random object. <laughs> Bakit may plancha si Cass? Nakatawa. Okay, ready? Ready. Chip. Kuma. Kuma. Ayos eh. Sige. Sige, ka namin. 3, 2, 1. Okay. Nakuha naman. Masama. Baka masama kami sa vlog dyan. Say <laughs> hi kayo. Hello. Hi. Basta ka po. Yung mukha namin may cover pero gumagayin kami. Okay, so everything is already shut down and I already put away my clutter. For today, I was able to accomplish 3 hours and 40 minutes of effective study. Time check, it's 11.25 p.m. and I'm done for the evening. I'm just gonna edit the clips I have for this vlog. So, thank you again for watching.